Hey, it's Wednesday, October 25th, 2023, and I'm Dave Sobel. Three things to know today. From hyperscale data centers to Windows 12, a glimpse into the future of IT. Amazon embraces Microsoft 365 as Apple doubles down on AI. And raiding the Raiders, Stanford's foundation model transparency index sheds light on the AI models. This is the business of tech. Don't you sometimes wish you could see what's happening in your customers' IT rooms you manage without needing to be there? Sentry from RF Code is the answer. Live and recorded video with motion detection offers better visibility than being there. Thermal imaging with 768 monitoring points combined with ambient temperature and humidity. And it's so easy to set up. Plug it in, scan the QR code, and you're done. Sentry helps you know about IT issues before your clients do. And listeners get 30% off your order of hardware and service with code MSP Radio on checkout. Visit rfcode.com slash MSP Radio and never be asked why you didn't know again. Let's kick off with a collection of interesting developments. According to Synergy, the IT capacity of new built hyperscale data centers is expected to more than double over the next six years due to the growth of artificial intelligence workloads. This will result in a nearly tripled hyperscale capacity as more data centers are built and older facilities are retrofitted. However, not all analysts agree with this optimistic outlook as CCS Insights predicts a cold shower for generative AI in 2024. And according to leaked data, Windows 11 is currently being used by over 400 million monthly active devices, with an expected increase to 500 million by early 2024. The slower adoption rate compared to Windows 10 can be attributed to stricter hardware requirements. Windows 11's market share is currently lower than Windows 10, but Microsoft aims to launch Windows 12 in 2024 potentially focusing on AI integration. According to Forrester Consulting's Total Economic Impact Report, selling on AWS Marketplace can generate a 234% return on investment, close deals 50% faster, and result in larger average deal sizes. The report also highlights the growth of channel partner private offers and an increase in win rates for system integrators and managed services providers. Partners are making money through resale private offers and professional services private offers, with AWS Marketplace funding and incentives further supporting practice growth. Cloud marketplaces, including AWS Marketplace, becoming the preferred choice for customers, presenting a significant opportunity for channel partners. A report by SolarWinds reveals that implementing IT service management can save businesses an average of 23 hours per week, equivalent to adding an extra employee. ITSM also enhances customer experience and offers up to a threefold return on investment. The report highlights benefits such as a 21% reduction in system downtime and ticket submission volume, a 23% decrease in incident and service ticket resolution time, and a 21% improvement in user experience. SolarWinds Service Desk customers save 23 hours per week due to decreased ticket volume, and AI-powered features brought a 23% reduction in incident resolution time. Financially, one in six customers reported an ROI of up to three times their ITSM investment. According to a report from Canalis, the worldwide cybersecurity technology market grew 11.6% year-over-year to $19 billion in Q2. 2023. Investment in cyber resilience remained a top priority as threat levels continue to rise. Palo Alto Networks led the market, followed by Fortinet and Cisco. The report also highlighted the need for channel partners to provide cybersecurity expertise and expand services in areas such as red teaming and managed security services. Why do we care? That second order effect around data centers is an excellent place to start. AI isn't driving smaller, faster, cheaper. There's more technology required here. That feels important, particularly as we consider that the lower adoption rate of Windows 11 compared to Windows 10 may mean less immediate upgrade business. 
Still, it's a signpost that the next Windows could have more significant AI integration, creating a market for specialized services around AI capabilities. SolarWinds report quantifies the efficiency gains from ITSM implementations, translating it to almost an employee's worth of time saved. The financial ROI and enhanced user experience make a compelling case for providers to deliver ITSM solutions either as the service itself or helping IT internally achieve it. According to reports, Apple is preparing to bring AI to its devices. The company has been working on generative AI efforts, including the development of a large language model called Ajax. Two senior vice presidents at Apple, including Craig Federighi, are leading various AI projects with a focus on improving Siri, developing an AI-infused iOS, and infusing AI into Apple applications. Apple aims to invest around $1 billion per year in this endeavor, and the updates are expected to resemble features seen in existing AI-infused applications. The company is also considering a combined approach of on-device processing and cloud-based operations for deploying generative AI. And Amazon is reportedly set to become a Microsoft 365 customer in a landmark $1 billion deal. The agreement will see Amazon using Microsoft's 365 productivity suite with a commitment to spending over $1 billion and taking on 1 million licenses or seats. The shift to Microsoft 365 is expected to begin in November and will coincide with the release of an updated version of 365 with generative AI tools. The deal marks a significant pivot for Amazon as it previously relied on its own in-house productivity tools and on-prem software. Why do we care? And its services providers should anticipate a new set of services and support needs tied to Apple's ecosystem, especially considering the focus on Siri and iOS. The hybrid approach of on-device and cloud-based operations could also introduce those complexities that providers may need to navigate. It's also insight into a rare misstep by Apple and how all hands on deck are pushing to catch up. MSPs should take note of this massive validation of Microsoft 365 and cloud services. Amazon is now using Microsoft Suite. Stanford researchers have developed a scoring system called the Foundation Model Transparency Index to rate the transparency of large AI language models. The index evaluates models based on criteria such as disclosure of training data sources, hardware information, labor involved, and downstream indicators. While Meta's Llama 2 scored the highest, followed by Bloom's and OpenAI's GPT-4, none of the models received high marks. The researchers argue that increased transparency is crucial as AI models become more powerful and integrated into daily life, allowing for better understanding, regulation, and awareness of potential risks. Two of the so-called AI godfathers, including Jeffrey Hinton, have joined with 22 other leading AI academics and experts to propose that companies and governments allocate a third of their AI research and development budgets to AI safety. The paper also calls for a comprehensive insight into AI development, model registration, and accountability for harms caused by advanced AI models. The authors emphasize the risks posed by autonomous AI systems and the need for research breakthroughs in oversight, robustness, interpetability, risk evaluation, and addressing emerging challenges. The idea of mandatory safety audits for AI models is gaining popularity as a way to ensure a safe future with powerful AI. Audits, similar to financial audits, would independently assess the risks of new AI systems. The concept has been included in the EU's Digital Services Act and a proposed AI policy framework by Senators Josh Hawley and Richard Blumenthal. Pre-deployment and post-deployment audits would examine AI models' plans and functioning. However, auditing AI models is complex due to their inner workings, and auditors would rely on access to training data and observations of inputs and outputs. Despite limitations, the idea of independent oversight through audits is seen as a way to address concerns about AI's impact. Why do we care? As AI models like GPT-4 become integrated into business solutions and workflows, Providers will find themselves responsible for explaining those technologies to customers. 
Transparency in AI, as measured by Stanford's index, is not just an ethical concern, but a practical one. Being informed about the transparency score of an AI model could help providers guide decision-making for clients who are concerned about ethical and operational risks. A greater focus on safety could result in new compliance and governance policies that providers would need to understand and implement. And should safety audits for AI models become standard, MSPs would need to be equipped to understand what these audits entail and how to interpret them. The implications for governance, compliance, and even service offerings could be significant. Providers offering AI solutions might themselves become part of the auditing process, necessitating a solid understanding of both AI mechanics and ethics. Thanks for listening. Today, World Pasta Day. That feels like one we can all get behind. I think I'll have a little penne today. I will talk to you again tomorrow. The Business of Tech is written and produced by me, Dave Sobel, under ethics guidelines, posted at businessof.tech. If you like the content, please make sure to hit that like button and follow or subscribe. It's free and easy and the best way to support the show and help us grow. You can also check out our Patreon, where you can join the Business of Tech community at patreon.com slash MSP Radio, or buy our Why Do We Care merch at businessof.tech. Finally, if you're interested in advertising on this show, visit mspradio.com slash engage. Once again, thanks for listening to me, and I will talk to you again on our next episode of the Business of Tech. Part of the MSP Radio Network.